Hello, today we are going to see how to install Cloudera virtual machine so that we can get hands-on experience with Hadoop technology. Let's first understand the prerequisites for installing a Cloudera virtual machine. Since it's a 64-bit VM, Cloudera virtual machine requires an operating system that is 64-bit as well. With regards to the memory requirement, the latest version of Cloudera which is 5.8 requires at least 4 gigabytes of memory. So we need a computer with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM so that we could allocate 4 gigabytes to our Cloudera sandbox for running our Hadoop programs. With regards to the processor, since Hadoop is all about distributed processing, it's at least good to have a dual core processor. Before we can go ahead and install a Cloudera virtual machine, First, we need a software to run the virtual machine. There are many software tools available to run a virtual machine. The one that we are going to use is called a virtual box. Let's first go to the virtual box's download URL. It's virtualbox.org. The latest version of virtual box is 5.1. It's an Oracle product. Let's go ahead and download it. Okay, since my machine is a Windows machine, I am going to choose the Windows host. Let's save the installer file. Let's go to the folder in which we have saved the installer file. And I am going to run antivirus software here. No threats found. Let's double click the VirtualBox installer file. Let's keep hitting next. Proceed with the installation now. Hit yes. And click on install. Let's say yes. The installation is in progress. Click finish. Let's go ahead and make sure if the virtual box has been added to the recently added applications. Let's go to the start menu. Yep, uh, we could see the Oracle VM virtual box. Now that we have successfully installed the virtual box, we can go to Cloudera Quick Start VM's download page and start downloading the virtual machine. The latest version for Cloudera Hadoop is 5.8. And as I mentioned earlier, there are several software tools to run the virtual machine and we are going to choose the virtual box. Get it now. Go ahead and fill out the form and start the Cloudera Quick Start virtual machine download. In my machine, I have already downloaded the virtual machine file. Cloudera Quick Start VM is a compressed zip file and Cloudera recommends us to use an archiver tool called 7-zip to extract files from this compressed zip folder. I have already installed the 7-zip file archiver in my machine. So if you um, would like to install 7-zip, you could go to this URL. 7-zip.org and download the necessary exe file and install 7-zip in your system. So let's right click on the Cloudera Quick Start VM file and select 7-zip. I am choosing this option extract to Cloudera Quick Start VM 5.8.0. Seven zip is decompressing the files. It takes a while to uncompress all the files, so I'm going to speed up the video. After seven zip successfully completes decompressing all the files, we should be able to see a folder named Cloudera Quick Start VM 5.8.0 virtual box. Let's open that. 
and here we see two files one is a virtual box and the file type is OVF uh, it stands for open virtualization format and the next file is the virtual box disk and the format is virtual machine disk format now that we have successfully decompressed the virtual machine files let's go to the virtual box configure the virtual machine and start running the virtual machine let's go to file select import appliance so this is expecting a OVF file let's choose the OVF file that we decompressed using 7-zip let's choose the OVF file next okay this window shows the appliance settings for the RAM it shows 4096 MB which, which is roughly 4 GB that's the minimum requirement that Cloudera recommends if we want to run the Cloudera manager we should at least allocate 8 GB RAM but for our Hadoop learning purpose we will be able to run all the Hadoop examples and we don't need the Cloudera manager so allocating 4 GB of RAM is good enough with respect to the processor it's highly recommended providing the VM with all available cores so that it will in increase the performance especially during the boot up time so in my machine I have a dual core so I'm going to um, allocate both the core to the virtual machine and then hit import okay this takes a while and I'm going to speed up the video before we can go ahead and turn on the Cloudera Quick Start virtual machine there is one more setting that we need to take care of let's go to settings choose network go to adapter 2 check enable network adapter box in the attach to drop down let's select host only adapter so the host only adapter is needed for the host machine to access our guest virtual machine select ok and now we are completely set up with the virtual machine and we are good to go let's turn on the machine the boot up takes a while so I'm going to speed up the video okay here we have our Cloudera quick start VM up and running it actually took three minutes with two processor core allotted to the virtual machine I also tried allotting one uh, processor core and noticed that the boot up time took a little bit longer it actually took four minutes so for a machine with higher processing speed the boot up time might come down to maybe somewhere around 90 seconds we have been automatically logged in as user Cloudera with password Cloudera and if we scroll down we have uh, multiple options one is the tutorial we could just uh, click on the start tutorial and follow the examples also there is another option to analyze data so we could use the hue user interface to analyze our data and so on let's go ahead and um, close all these messages let's figure out the options for turning off the virtual machine actually there are several options let's go to this red button which is located in the top left hand corner and click close we are able to see three options the first one is save the machine state the next one is send the shutdown signal and the final one is power off the machine power off the machine is similar to holding the power button on our machine to turn it off let's just avoid that option send the shutdown signal um, we could use this option but uh, shutting down the virtual machine will take a couple of minutes because there are lots of processes running on so one useful option for us is to save the machine state when we save the machine state 
It actually frees up all the resources including the RAM and CPU. The next time we start the machine, it will resume exactly at the same state where we saved it. Let's try this option. So we could see the status of the virtual machine as saved. Let's resume it. Okay, so we are able to see the Firefox browser open as we had it in our previous session, as it is. So there is one more option to turn the machine off, it is the pause. When we pass the machine, we can instantly resume back to the state where we passed. But the downside with pass is it does not release the RAM. So we can go ahead and unpause it. It's better to uh, use the save the state option because it completely frees up all the resources including the RAM. So today we learned on how to install a virtual box, how to install and configure a Cloudera virtual machine, and how to turn off and on the Cloudera virtual machine. For more video tutorials and blogs on Hadoop and Big Data, please visit us at our website, bytequest.net. Thank you.